you'll be able to move this freely like this and disconnect this fuel hose from the fuel filter okay we have it disconnected from the fuel filter we're going to lift up on this linkage right here free it up and then we're going to have to get this disconnected up next we're going to want to remove this retaining ring prop that up out of there and then this enrichment knob should come right out So how I got this out was right tie lefty Lucy and it just popped right out. We're gonna go after this. And there's another one over here that seems to be blocked by the starter. Terrific. All right, so the starter is gonna be blocking the last little nut that you need to get to back here on the port side of the carburetor. So we're gonna have to get this starter off disconnect the power from your battery before you work on the starter. Now we're going to undo this bolt. Once you undo both bolts, you just pick up the starter and get it out of the way. We have this nut off and we have this nut off. We're going to try and lift it up and then there's another hose underneath that we have to disconnect from the carburetor. Okay, so you pull that hose off the bottom of this valve right here, this inlet, this jet, this hole, this thing. And now we're gonna put this on the tailgate and get this cleaned up. That hose off. This right here is your fuel pump of the carb. It's spring loaded. So you want to keep your thumb or your finger down while you get this last screw out. Okay. Gently let it off. It's your diaphragm on your fuel filter. If there's any tears or holes in this, it will have to be replaced. This has to be replaced if there's tears or holes in it. I don't see anything wrong with this right now, so looks good. And then this part should come off. Inspect these flappers right here, that big silver thingy. These look good. When you take this one off, it's got a spring. There's a little metal ball in here. Do not lose that ball. There it went. It's like a little BB. It's very small. This has a hole in the center and holes on the sides. We gotta get this off so we can get to the bowl. All right. This needle fell out of this. Let's put it back in, flip this down, put the needle inward, flip that up. Then you put the bowl in. The needle looks fine. You want to inspect it for dents, scratches, anything like that. Up next, we're going to take this off. This is also spring loaded, so keep your fingers down on it as you loosen it. And there you'll see a spring, a fuel mixture. carb cleaning time. Any little hole or crevice, you just spray this in there. Hey, we cleaned everything up. Let's get it put back together. I'm gonna start with this needle. We have our needle back in the hole. Push that down.
get your spring, get this, put the spring in first. Plunger in the middle of the spring, put her down, make sure your plunger works. Okay, now that the plunger is on, we're gonna put the float back in. We'll lose the needle. The float is in the center. She's on there good. And now we put the enrichment assembly back on, like this. Now we do these two bolts right here. Now you have your enrichment assembly back on. Let's keep moving on down the line. The outer gasket, or the inner I should say, sorry. Get these all lined up. Click in like that. Line up your holes, get your screws in. Now you have this on, your fuel pump for your carb, assemble. Top, top goes up top. Doesn't matter which way it's facing, just line it up. There you go. All right, coming back to the metal ball, right? There's your metal ball right here. Put that in this hole first, drop it in there. All right, it's in there. Now we do the spring, don't lose the spring. This goes on the bottom of your bowl right here. You put your needle right here. How you do this is you gotta make sure that this is at the appropriate setting the same setting as it was when you took this off you bottom it out okay it's bottomed out so you want to do one and a half turns so there's one and a half turns right there and that's what it looked like when I got it and do the bottom There you go. Carb is reassembled and clean. Okay, go ahead and inspect your surface. Prep it for putting the carb back on it. Thing looks good here. Sprayed some carb cleaner in it. Now we just gotta get the carb back on. But first, gotta reconnect this hose right here. Now let's get the bolts back on this bad boy and we'll have it mounted. Before you bolt the carb on, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get the enrichment pull choke thingy. You wanna go ahead and get that installed. Get this link put back on. I'm gonna, you know how to do it. I'm just gonna plug it in and get it off camera. All right, once you pop that link in, the other end of this link hooks into this. So, how you can tell it's hooked up is you can simply pull on the other end of it, all in working order. All right, we're gonna be focusing on this right here and getting the enrichment knob back in there. Get this, put it on first. This has a, a ring in it, right? Go ahead and set this ring up on it, make sure this is pointed to you and down, right? Forward, right? Once you have it on there, you're gonna have to lift up on the carb, line the holes up. Ooh, close. That was a close one. Just like that. Spin it inwards, spin it out. You got her locked in there. Now with this, 
you gotta make sure your idle speed and everything is straight up. See how much of a gap there is? Twist in, have that straight up. So twist it through until you see a gap, get the ring on it, push down on it. Nice and snug as a bug in a rug, you know what I'm saying? And there you go. Now let's get this car bolted in, now that we don't need any more play or anything like that. Down on that, that one's good. Come over to this one. Good and tight. She's on there. Okay, now the fun part is going to be getting this starter back in there and mount it up. Okay, we got everything assembled. Got all the fuel hoses set up. Everything bolted down. All right, the carb's just cleaned. Let's give her a test run. All right, she's running good after her carb cleaning. Messing with the enrichment plug, but there we go. Cleaner carbs, runs good. <laughs>